Welcome to another Rails quick tip. This is about using Bundler to your advantage when creating and adding gems to your Rails app. So I've created a basic vanilla Rails app right now. Um, you could conceivably at this point just open up in your code editor, go to your gem file, add some new gems, um, right? You know, like gem stripe, for instance, and do a bundle install and go about it that way. Another approach could be a little more automatic and less taxing on your, your mouse or something is to say bundle add stripe. And this should go ahead and fetch it for you, install it and add it to your gem file. So it does that automatically for you. So if you wanna verify, you can go and do that. It adds it to the end is the only caveat. So if you have it organized in such a way that maybe it doesn't, uh, suit you that might be something to consider if you add the gem it will go fetch the latest too you can pass your own version should you want to um, typically the latest is what i'm going to recommend of course okay so what else could you do with this maybe you want to add a file that's going to be in a specific group so notice we have the t development and test groups and uh, outside of that it's just production ready group you could initially say the same thing add uh, what, what could we put in the group? Maybe the annotate gem. And I'll say group. You could also say G for short and then the equal sign and pass development. I think I passed one too many flags there. So if we go G development, should go do that. And it should add the gem. And at the very bottom, it will do the hash rocket syntax of group development. So it does work that way. This This is like, I mean, nitpicky but i would love if it could find like an existing development and then add it to that but uh, bundler itself isn't part of rails it's just a gem that is used to go and source uh, dependencies on rubygems.org so it's just a way we can make use of that it's a lot like npm but it's the ruby version of that same with yarn whatever you want to use there okay so one other quick tip of bundle is to maybe for some reason you want to install a bunch of gems you could say bundle add the I'm going to use name of person gem and then you could say skip install and it won't install it so it'll go ahead and fetch it add it maybe I'll add device too and you could say skip install it'll go fetch those two resolve dependencies added them to your gem file but it doesn't actually do bundle install so for whatever reason if you wanted to do that you could uh, maybe you have like a generation task or something when you create a new app. Maybe you've got this custom way to create a Rails app. That's something you could configure and do should you want to. So maybe um, you're creating a theme or something and people might use it, but they might not want to install what's in the gem file. You could just have those there. So it kind of write authors it for you, but you don't necessarily install the dependencies and clutter up your gem file lock file, uh, which is where your versions are tracked and whatnot but most of the time you will probably install those. So if you just run bundle, it'll go fetch them and finally install them for you. So that means they do get updated in the lock file and should be set up for success. So those are quick little commands for bundle. You could also bundle and open a specific gem and do some like studying. So Stripe, uh, we need to pass editor, code, Bundle open stripe and should open that source code of that gem. So that way you can go look and see what the heck's going on under the hood. Um, I'll go into more detail about like gem st structure and everything else, but you could look inside here and just kind of see the inner workings, maybe get fam more familiar with how things work. Um, some gems are very tiny, small, easy to understand. Others seem like entire frameworks that are insane, but uh, that's a cool way to kind of approach it, not have to dig deep into your own computer system or anything. So you could just use Bundler to open that and do the magic you need to do. Hello Rails is my new course on Ruby on Rails. I'll teach you Ruby on Rails from the ground up. Visit hellorails.io for more information.